ladies welcome back to my channel it's been about a week or two weeks and I'm getting back into YouTube I'm sorry if it was a little delayed but I have a really good video for you guys so I wanted to continue on my how to style series videos because I have been doing that and then I stopped a little bit I put some holes in between from different brands and different summer lookbooks so I'm really excited to bring to you a how to style video on dresses and I'm excited about this because if you've been following my blog for a while you know that I style a lot of separates together because I have a hard time finding dresses and there's a certain type of dress that I like I'm very picky on it and I want very like fit and flare kind of style it fits for my body type so anyone who's looking for that this is the video for you so I want to show you the four dresses that I've been loving lately and how I style it. When I've been styling these dresses that has been a little bit new to me, when it comes to accessorizing, and sometimes I've been a little bit in a stump, like, how do I, I always thought with a dress, if I put a simple shoe, it's just gonna work out, but it's interesting how when you style dresses, it's very much about like a really nice, sharp statement. It doesn't have to be a statement accessory, but it definitely has to be something a little more sharper and it just brings the dress together. It really is a very stylish look that you can just throw on. So I am really excited to share with you. So if you want to see future videos, please go ahead and subscribe to the red button below, as you know. Otherwise, let's get started. So I'm first starting with my dress. My first dress that I will be showing you is something that you have not seen on Instagram yet. I did mention this on my Instagram stories. I do send links daily, you know, of where to shop for some pieces that I've been finding that I love. So this dress I found on Shein. Of course I was a little skeptical about it because I wasn't sure how the quality was. So we have this peach dress. So first off, when I saw this picture, I'll pop it up over here. When I saw the image on the site, it definitely looked more of a light pink and it is really a peach color. So I was a little let down by that. Still a very fresh color for summer. I really love the idea of these like cape sleeves. Really pretty, it goes through the back. And then it has a belt tie. So with this one, it's interesting how this dress, so I'm gonna show you in a little clip here. This dress is more like a shift dress, but it is a little flurry at the end. So if you don't wanna use the belt, you can. It just says standalone. It doesn't have loops for the belt, so you won't see that. You can't wear it like that. If you wanted to find your waist, I love that they have a belt option and you can just easily tie it together. Um, the quality of the material is obviously not that great. I mean, when I put it on, I think it looks beautiful, but you do have to wear a shell, of course. You do have to wear a slip under. You can get away with that because it's a very light material and it is sheer. I would definitely wear this if you're going out on Shabbos, you're going to shul, you want something very light and airy. I don't think I'd wear this for a wedding because, again, the material is not that high quality. And this dress is under 30 bucks, so you can't go wrong. So with accessories, as you saw, I want to freshen up this peach color and really have something pop. So white is always the color to do that. So I picked a white classic heel. I got this from Zara a while ago. A white heel, it just amps up this look and really makes it more expensive than it looks. And with a clutch, I didn't have one offhand. So I want to show you something like this. I would also want to pair with, again, a white clutch. Um, let me just pop up an image here. I was looking at Amazon for something fun. So I love these wicker style basket bags. And I have it in a white too. So I think it's a really fun option to pair. Again, if it's on Shabbos, you could just pair it with classic white heels and you're good to go. But if you're going out to an event and you want to have some fun, this dress you definitely can wear that for. And you can pair it with a nice white clutch. As I mentioned before, I will link everything in the description box below. If something's out of stock, like these white heels, I will link something similar, so don't worry about that. But again, this dress option is really fun, really pretty. Again, with the cape sleeve, it's really pretty. But remember, I am wearing a shell under because this cape sleeve is basically over a sleeveless part of the dress and it shows your arms. I do wear my shell under, and when I'm walking, you don't see it, but in the video, you see it because I'm holding up the camera, so there's no choice. You do see my shell, but otherwise, you don't see it when you're walking around. So I'm letting you guys know. The second dress that I wanted to style is, of course, I had to show you guys one of my new pieces from my collection on Frady.com is my beautiful dress that I worked so hard creating. Um, this comes in two other colors. So I have this in a blue and I have this in a peach and in a black polka dot pattern. A very small scale polka dot, so it's not too much, but it's definitely something that's interesting. And that's your basic black dress. I love the shoulder detail. It adds a little something on the shoulder. It has a very flowy sleeve and it has an elastic end sleeve and an elastic waist which really is so easy to wear and it's stretchy, so you're very comfortable. And of course, you don't need any shell and you don't need any slip, you heard right. I make sure to line the material. 
and make sure this material itself is not so sheer. So the peach one actually is a little bit sheerer, so I had the whole thing lined so you do not have to worry about it. Like the sleeve is also lined. Really spend time on that to make sure that I get pieces that are, you can easily throw on and it just, you could just worry about other things you have to worry about in life. We're all so busy and this is one less thing you have to worry about. So this dress I would definitely wear on a date. I think it's so pretty. This color, many guys like this like blue color. I may say so myself. I tested it out and many of them love this color so much and I love it too for a good reason. It's just, it's so nice to have this color but it's not too bright but it's so classic and it's so flattering. I love this color. This dress is so versatile because you can wear it for a date, you can wear it for an event, you can wear it for Shabbos and you can dress it up also for a wedding. You wear it with nice neutral heels. It's really a dress that you can't go wrong. It's going to be a staple in your closet, hands down. So with this one, if I was on a date with this dress, as you saw in the video, I would definitely pair this with a classic espadrille. I did mention this in my spring shoes video. I did mention all the spring shoes that I've been loving. I will link down below if you're interested. I got this from Amazon and it's just very classic. It's really hard to find something like this. It's very affordable. I'm just letting you guys know when I started wearing this, the back here, for some reason, they punctured the hole on the top and I feel they should have done it in the middle. When you tie it, sometimes it goes out of place and it could go under your heel while you're walking and I know that's very bad. But like, it's something to take in mind that this is not to shoot to go out walking. It's definitely for like two, three blocks, but otherwise it's not a walking espadrille that you can go around in. So I'm letting you guys know. Otherwise it's really pretty and it's just so beautiful with this dress. And I easily pair it with like a straw bag. As you guys know, this is my straw bag from Shein. I love it so much. It's so classic. And yes, I mean, it's a no brainer. I love this outfit. And again, it's my dress. It's something that I put all my heart and soul into. And there's more pieces coming in soon, so I'll let you guys know and keep you updated. And I will link it, again, in the box below. The third dress I wanted to show you guys, you saw this on Instagram. I actually also went to a bridal shower with it. It's like the perfect dress for that. When you want something fun, you know, when you're out with the girls and you want something fun and pretty, this H&M dress. As you guys know, there is a story behind this. I went to get it fixed. This was a drop waist. And I went to get it picked up and then it still was very loose by the waist and again that's a feature that I wanted to find so I had a very hard time going back and forth with the tailor and then the second time they just said they're going to take out the waist and they're going to put an elastic so they replaced it. It definitely wasn't cheap but I really wanted to get wear out of this dress because it's so hard to find such a pretty floral dress. I love that this floral design is like such a subtle there's so many subtle colors in here and it's not too bright but it's definitely a lot of color going on so I loved it. Wow, I just love this dress. It's so easy to throw on and I got it shorts into a lot of tailoring involved and when I got the receipt back from the tailor, it was a lot. So I'm just letting you guys know. This dress was under $50 and it ended up being, I think, over 100 with all the tailoring that I needed to do and I was not aware of how much I would need to fix this. But since I did it, I am happy with it. I can wear it for any kind of fun event that I want some color and print. This is definitely my go-to dress and I'm going to be using this time and time again. I mean, this is very timeless. Just accessorizing this floral dress, I wanted to show you. I imagine doing like the opposites. I love like, you know, whenever you have something more feminine, you pair it with something a little more edgy. So I felt that pairing this with like a classic pink loafer, I've seen that a few times and I love that idea. So I, as you saw in the video, I paired it with these H&M loafers. These are old. When I got them, I told you guys about it to run and get it because I'm telling you, you're gonna go back to the shoe time and time again. There's something about a loafer that goes with everything. It just adds like a certain class. I don't know what it is. It's just amazing. I love it with this outfit. It's very comfortable, very easy. And yes, I will try to find something similar. Um, this is kind of like a Gucci knockoff. I couldn't find anything similar since then, but I will search for you guys and let you know. So I will put it in the description box below and I just, Paired it with my go-to structure bag from Mango. I got this last year. Told you guys about it. It is not in stock anymore, but I'll find something similar. So you guys don't have to worry about it. Um, so this kind of pairing together is so nice. So you have this floral dress with a loafer and a structured bag. It is so pretty. You can never go wrong. So I love this. Again, this dress is going to be a classic and it was so worth the tailoring. And just in general, many pieces that you get, always see if you can tailor the piece and you can make it actually wearable. And it'll be in your closet for so many years, so I'm really excited about that. The last dress I want to end off with is striped dress from Miss Finch, and I will link it down below. They sent me this dress, so thank you. 
it's a striped dress and I don't have to wear any shell under which is surprising because it's really thin and lightweight tested it out I could just throw it on so I'm really excited about that and it has a belt that goes around the waist and you can just tie it so you'll see in this video I went and rolled up the sleeve something like this I did put on my Instagram recently and I styled it with I styled it with pink and I thought it would be very pretty so it's more girly as you saw in this video I also thought it would be really nice to accessorize it with more in-trend items so of course I got this jean bag just recently and it's like under 15 bucks and I love it. It goes with so many things. I love the fact that it's clear, right? And it has this basket bag. There's so many things going on. It has a lot of texture, different textures, different materials. And I love that it has the wooden handles that really adds a pop. So to this outfit with the blue and with the striped blue and white, I thought it's such a nice contrast. So you guys saw, I love it. You can just put different things in there. I have my glasses in here and anything you don't want seen, just, you know, easily put in this little sack over here. I think it's so nice. I'm so happy I got this. Like with this outfit even. Like this goes with so many things and I love it. And then I wanted to just keep it simple. It's really an old neutral outfit. Any neutral outfit is so chic and so timeless. I paired it with just my classic H&M mules. You guys know that this is out of stock. I will link something similar. Target has something, but it's not as chic. It's not as pointed. And this has a little bit of like a suede effect. And it's just so chic. So yeah, I've been wearing this so many times. And it's something that I just run to every time. So I love it. Pairing with this outfit, I think it's so chic. I really hope you guys liked it. I really wanted to show you different types of dresses. I hope it inspires you and uh, really shows you how you can, when you have a dress, how you can style it to the next level. I'm all about that. So again, if you have any questions, please comment below. I am always on Instagram at stylebyfrady. And any questions, you can always ask me on there. Always DM me anything. You guys are looking for a lookbook lot of casual outfits. I am working on that but I need a new white denim skirt because I have a black and I have a denim one. So I really want to do a little bit of a lookbook around these skirts. So again it's very easy to style and it's all about that. I want you to be able to run out of the house and look chic and casual and comfortable and I do want to work on a non-denim work lookbook because you guys have been asking without denim. <laughs> Obviously, I need to work on that and show you guys what I would do. Um, I actually have my sister who is currently interning and she's going for law. So I am actually like thinking of different outfits for her that she can use for, for meetings. So this is perfect. I can just show you guys what I would tell you guys and recommend what to wear and how to look chic and modest, you know, and put together and look modest and sexy at the same time. So yes. Otherwise, um, yes, I will see you in my next video. Bye.